Good morning. Well, it's afternoon here and it's evening for most of you. Well, it depends on when you watch this, I guess. I am going to give you an update on those of you who are invested in what's going on with my niece. So I um, talked to my brother today. He had an appointment with the school. So the school has... They did talk about Madame Vanier, which is one of the places that she could go to. But there's a really long waiting list. I'm just trying to set this down so I can have my flipping coffee. And it's not working. Perfect. Um, I just, yeah, I've just woken up. I've just put on laundry. Hopefully it's going to be finished first. So I'll put on a little laundry and then I'm doing the thing that I hate. Probably more than most anything that I try to avoid. And that is weeding. Oh, we've got a house inspection coming up and there is weeds everywhere. So I am gonna get my A and a G and let's just hope I get a tan at the same time. Um so yes, I'm gonna get yeah, do some weeding because I was supposed to go meet with a friend whose little boy broke his arm. So yesterday so it's gonna take him a while to get used to it so not gonna go see him um anyway so i just got off the phone with my brother and he went to the school he signed a piece of paper so that my niece can start having um some guidance counseling so she's gonna have start next week and have those every week for four to five minutes asked a bunch of questions um one question he didn't quite tell the truth on but that's because he was worried he'd get in trouble I mean that's the the tricky thing about being a parent right like do you admit that you know your child has tried drugs or that is possibly currently doing drugs he's afraid so he did not admit that and says he has no idea I mean, he doesn't get to see her a lot at the moment. She is very much a teenager. She comes home, she goes to her room, and then she comes out of her room all dressed and tells him that she's going out and not to wait for her, and she will be home when she is home. This is an everyday occurrence thing at the moment. Um, But, yeah, so it's a slight nightmare. So, apparently, the principal the teacher and the guidance counselor are all going to be working together they are going to be getting all to jamie when there's stuff on so that he knows and yeah they want to do this for about two months and then they will look into <coughs> they will look into what to do next so that's where we are i got a hold of the citizens advice bureau um they told me that she would either be in grade eight or grade nine, <coughs> depending on what level her schooling is. Um, when I said that to Jamie, he said it's going to be quite hard because even the school says, like, they don't have a good understanding of who she is yet. She's been going to school for five weeks, but she hasn't been there very much. Um, so Jamie did a really good thing yesterday. Yesterday? The day before yesterday. I think it was yesterday. And she really wanted to come home from school, so she called. Wait. Excuse me. She called saying that she had tummy issues, which she does a lot when she wants to get out of something. Um, and then Jamie said, "No, you're not coming home." So she called again a little while later, saying that she had a headache. And again, they said, "No, you're not coming home. <laughs> you need to stay at school." Um, and so Jamie actually went and dropped off pills and he said that was really good because um, she didn't yell at him. She just kind of took the pills and then left. So she's a little bit different around other people than she is when she's at home. Um, so, yeah. And it was funny because I said, um, and I were talking about like my name coming up and stuff, my mom, my mom and my brother and Dave. And they were saying, um, you know, her mom has pretty much washed her hands. And the one thing that she did say is that she wanted her to go to me. That's who she wanted to sign her off to. And it's just so 
weird for me to think that a person I've never had any real conversation with other than what do your kids want for Christmas um, really wants this to happen. So it just mind boggles me. Like what she thinks I can do. Why does she feel like I've got such control? I mean, it feels empowering and it feels good that she thinks this. And I do think that there's something different between me and my niece that um, maybe I can get through to her. Obviously, there's always a possibility that I won't be able to. Um, but yeah, that's what it stands like now. Um, I'm waiting to hear about back about visas for guardianship and what that entails. Um, but yeah, I think I do have a couple more months um, unless she doesn't show up for her stuff and then things like skyrocket a little bit quicker but that's the way it is right now he won't go to the place that could do something about it right away because he's afraid that they'll take her away because it's kind of like uh it's the system and he's worried that they'll just say okay well you can't handle her or whatever and take her away completely um and he doesn't want that so yeah until he can kind of work through that and kind of trust that the system won't do that for any reason um other than her own benefit um yeah he's kind of at the mercy of the school so that is the update um hopefully we can put this to rest for a little bit <coughs> and i can just enjoy the next four weeks of you know, I've got goals in mind for cutting off debt. Um, in two weeks' time, I will pay it off to the people that I owed money to. Um, and I will start paying off my credit card. And I will really start saving for the Disney cruise. So that's amazing. That'll be about three weeks away from the cruise. Four weeks away from the cruise. So we are now about, today is the 19th and the cruise is the 21st. So we are four weeks away from the cruise, which is just insane. So we'll see. I might not pay off those people before the cruise, but I'm going to at least, I'll probably at least try to pay off those two because it's only like $150 max that I have to pay. Um, or 160 I owe 175 and 190 So, um, yeah, I want to at least pay that off and then the rest will go on the cruise and then as soon as the cruise is over, I can start doing it again but it's great because i get my pay rise my five dollar pay rise in november and then another three day pay rise in december so i'm hoping that that extra hundred dollars that i make it i'm gonna just put away for those two weeks that's an extra hundred dollars so i should be able to save i'm hoping that i'm going to be able to save like have like eight hundred dollars because i also am getting my hair dyed I'm going to try to wash my hair before I go to the hairdressers so that she doesn't have to wash it. Um, or maybe they wash it after. Actually, they may wash it after, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, because I don't know how much my hair is going to take to dye. Um, it's normally like 180 to 200, so I definitely want the goal is for about 600 on the cruise, so we're just going to see how we go. So I'll keep you posted. And I just found out a job from my work is going to be um, on the cruise, but he's in the other room. I do know him. I worked with him as a one-year-old. He is a little bit autistic. Um, yes, it'll be interesting to see him on the cruise if I do. I mean, obviously, the cruise ship is very, very big. Um, I will most likely see him at some shape or form, though yeah i'm really excited and i have a girls weekend this weekend so we're gonna watch the barbies movie and we are gonna go to one tree hill um 
which is not the show, <laughs> but the One Tree Hill, which is actually a trail tree on the hill. There's a big park there. I haven't been there in ages, and I don't think I've ever walked around it. There's like a space dome or something there that I have been to once um, with the kids at work, but I've never actually walked around the park, really. So, so that'll be exciting. We're going to go do that because we were going to go and go climb up Rangitoto, which is a really big mountain here. Um, it takes two hours there and two hours back, but the problem is there's only one ferry at 9.15 to get there. So we were going to have to train there, and the trains aren't really working, so you would have to bus there. You'd have to take two buses, try to make it to the ferry at 9.15, and then there's only three ferries to come back, and I think the last ferry is at like 4 o'clock. So if for whatever reason it took us longer to do that track, which... We are, a couple of us are a little bit bigger. Um, it could take us a little bit longer than an hour and a half there and an hour and a half back. Um, then it would bump into that ferry and it's a little bit um, scary because obviously it's also a long weekend and we don't want to be trapped on a place where we don't have any money to stay. So, um, yeah, we've decided to can that and just do, go to One Tree Hill for a big long walk go back we're having sushi for dinner um and we're gonna watch a barbie movie we're gonna have a spa we're gonna do face masks we're gonna have pancakes on saturday morning and we'll probably maybe we'll go out for well we'll do something for dinner in the afternoon uh in the evening so yeah so it should be a good night and most likely we'll really just be the four of us, somebody might pop in and out, or a couple of people might pop in and out, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And then I have, I have to go to Kingsland on the 28th, so I have to remember that, I have to actually write down Kingsland. Um, I have dinner at 6 o'clock on the Saturday with my Canadian friend, and we're going to try, what are we trying? We are trying a food that I have not tried before. It's not Mexican, it's not Italian, it's not Spanish. I forget what it is. But I'm so excited to like hang out with her because we're like the same. Like we don't normally like talk to other people, but like we were in that because we get so overwhelmed, but we were in that emotional, overwhelming state and it made us reach out to each other and we've just like chatted with each other since like not deep meaningful chats or anything but like how are you going and how's work and she's actually done way better at it than me so um <clears throat> yeah looking forward to that anyways i need to finish this coffee my laundry is almost finished so i need to strip my bed so i can put my other laundry in and then i need to get on my way so see you guys later